So here you're going to be able to see the stone system as I designed it, as working. Proper presentation, incredible ball of method, stuff with naturals, great hook bait, great presentation. So you cast out, and you know that you'll have that kind of presentation. And straight away you can see the dried within the mix really, really reacting. The air content of the dried still containing 60% of pure natural protein, which fish really want to eat. They need to eat as part of their diet. So you've got gamma shrimp, daphnia, waterfly, 7,000 waterfly plus born in our waters in this country alone. Incredible amount of natural feast and fare out there for fish. Uh, and we do tend to overlook it a lot of the time. This kind of food source is vital to a fish's well-being, to its healthy growth rate. It's not a surprise to be fair, the amount of fish we do catch when you look at something like this and you know, in essence, it's going to be doing exactly the same thing working for you when it's in the lake or the river. You can be confident that you're not tangled, you can be confident of great presentation and you can be confident of right next to your hook bait, a method mix, a ground bait mix of superb high quality that really, really will get the fish active in your swim. And you can see now the gamma shrimp actually pulling away drifting particles up and down. Just look, there's some great big chunks being pulled out. Up they float, particles falling back down around your hook bait. That ultimately will just cover that area in a nice pile of food. It's all about catching more fish and all these tactics have been developed purely with that in mind. This is how we fish and we genuinely know it will catch us and you more fish. And we've got great big chunks still pulling off. There's a bit of a water fly coming out there, gamma shrimp shooting around all over the place. But the most important part of the dried aspects in there is the fact as you know that fish, they've evolved eating protein and nutrients that those contain. So as you can see now, only after a minute or two, the mix has broken down where you've just got the stone starting to show. So instead of a horrible, obtrusive, man-made method feeder, lumps of lead and plastic veins and things like that. You've literally just got a stone. It has to be an advantage. Great presentation. It's pretty much broken down now as it, as it is. You've still got that element of dried still pulling away. And what you will see is if I put my hand in here and, and almost act like a fish coming up, thinning and feeding, you'll see how, how much that starts stirring up. And you, it's not a surprise that fish will react to that. It'll bring in the small fish, and ultimately the big fish will come in, bully them off, and more fish on the bank. And look how great that stone is just blending in. It is just a perfectly natural stone. There's no gimmick, no hidden agenda. We're just using a stone as a way to, and a means to put your bait in place and to hold it in place, and then to hook the fish if you're using it as a bolt rig effect. I can promise you this system has caught us thousands upon thousands of fish be it carp or barb or chub or bream. We use this and it will catch you more fish.